back again for a bit of morning no man's sky. Been on a long walk with the dog. I'm a bit shattered, to be honest. Keep all around the local golf course. Now we get to chill in no man's sky. Remembered we were in a cave on this planet. Was it last creature? Six of seven, rare underground. Yeah. Not the rare underground. You're also not the rare underground. And I had a thought. We've got our cave experiment base. And I thought maybe. What if I were to build another base in here with a teleporter? And we teleport in between bases. Because, for example, this guy seems to show up here all the time. And I want to know, does he always show up here? Or does he show up here sometimes? Does the other guy show up here? Ever? Let's put a little base down. And we'll have a little bit of experimenting with cave creatures. Interesting that I'm also seeing that cow creature down here that was here yesterday as well, which seems to suggest maybe it's a fixed spawning location. And whatever spawns here will always spawn here. But let's just do a little bit of testing. A little teleporter. I want some power. Do I have enough? And more metal platings. Pick this up. Battery. It's night time. Damn it. I see out of power. I didn't get to build a battery in time. I never quite know. Do I need to attach the battery to this as well? Possibly. Right, how are we doing? See, what's really interesting to me at the moment is that this cow creature's in the cave again. It was in the cave yesterday. What if this always spawns here? And this always spawns here? Then there's no way I can manipulate the game, force it to spawn the rare cave creature. I just have to find a cave that has the creature in, which is what I think I have to do. Really annoying this isn't in power. I'm going to have to build a biofuel reactor as well. I'm actually out of metal platings now. The other thing is, if I teleport between them back and forth, will the creatures already be here? Uh, can I just do that? And then that would charge up the teleport. Let's have a look. It does. Right, I'm going to go to my other cave experiment. Look in that one. Oh no, I need to name this one first. Experiment 2. Right, try that again. So, we want to go back and forth between these two and just see if we ever get the rare creatures to spawn. Or if we don't get the rare creatures to spawn, to just to see if we get the same features. The only problem is in this cave one, I don't I think the cave was empty. Oh 
this is the legendary well system. So it is just one rare underground. I wasn't here last week. What is that? I've had this before. Is that like a. That's supposed to be like a standworm. I don't get it. I'm gonna miss it now. I thought there might be a sandworm, but there isn't. How do I get back into my cave? Kind of a nice planet, this one, actually. Oh! <laughs> How do you get back in? Wait. There it is. So, attempt one, and we don't have the cave creature here. Do I walk around? My default position is that the cave creature is never going to spawn here because this is a cave that it won't spawn in. Which makes proving the opposite really awkward because it means every time I come here it will be empty if that's true. So the only way to disprove that is to come here and find the creature here. Anyway, it's not here now. Let me teleport back to the other one. Eve experiment two. So maybe what I could do is every day teleport between them ten times. Five times? Maybe five times. And just see if it ever happens that the creature spawns. And then over time, we'll get enough instances to know for sure that actually it's never happening in this coordinates. So it's more a coordinate based. I have noticed before that creatures seem to spawn on similar coordinates. Enough so that you could tell somebody some coordinates and they should be able to find the creature there, I think. But, for example, right now, we're not having those cave creatures that were here before. So, it means they don't always spawn. There's nothing here at the moment. The alternative is that it randomly spawns per unit time or something. In which case, eventually, it should spawn here. It's kind of interesting that we don't have any creatures here. Not even the little cow and not the uncommon underground. Also annoying that it's still night time. Let me just charge this back up. The other thing is, it might be that because it's night time that the... It's not spawned. Not sure. Let's, let's go back to the other one. Once there's been enough daytime, the battery should stay charged and we shouldn't have to keep charging up this thing. Right again, I'll, I'll do this like five times. See if we ever get creature and I'll leave it for another day grand cave experiment I suppose we could add a few other caves just for experimental purposes 
when I can't find the cave creatures and then just have a loop of caves that we test the cave is shaking again that is bizarre is that me sliding into the rocks maybe that what I don't even know why it's doing that not like we've got a creature anymore problem is I don't think we've ever seen a creature in this cave Also, how long do I give it? Also, do I need to reload? Teleporting enough, or do you have to reload as well? All these questions, I don't know. Let's teleport back to the other one. It seems like the time doesn't really pass very much. It was about midnight last time we were on the other planet. Let's see what time it is now. In game time that even knows that I've instantly teleported. Right. So the time is half past two. That at two hours of in-game time, which is probably about right as if I'd stayed here. Interestingly, again, we don't have the creatures. But it's still the middle of the night. It's not going very well so far, is it? I'll do it a couple more times and then we'll give up for now. Oh, did I just get my ship? Let me just do that. It's a bit annoying I have to keep charging this at the moment. I wonder if I left it charged, like with a lot, if it would still be charged. I kind of don't want to waste my resources, so. Wait, I'm in two. I need to go to one. I think the most likely thing is, is that it's just a rare cave, or it's just a rare coordinate, and you need to be on the right coordinate for the creature to spawn, and even then it doesn't always spawn, and that's why it's so difficult to find, because one, you need to find the coordinates, and two, when you're at those coordinates, it needs to spawn. That means if I'm currently at the wrong coordinates on the planet, it will never spawn anyway. Perhaps. The problem I have is that even if it spawns here, then I don't know if it's just... the right coordinates and I've just found the right moment when it spawns. God, this experiment really sucks. No matter what outcome, I suppose the only thing we can say for sure is if it never spawns it after loads of time and many times, we can say that this coordinates it never spawns. But if it were to spawn here right now, I wouldn't know, is it because this is the right coordinates or is it because this is the right time? I suppose that's why we have multiple caves. Because then only then when it consistently happens we would know. Yeah, that makes sense. So maybe we need to add a few more extra caves to our cave experiment. Anyway, it's not here now. Right, let's go back. Then we'll do one more round and then call it and go exploring. So actually, what we could do is maybe add even something as silly as like 10 cave experiment bases where we're struggling to find the last creature and then 
Just have a little session each day, just warping between them. And then just do that over time and just see what happens, if anything ever changes. Is it morning? It's morning. Interestingly, we still don't have creatures here. So this is one thing I don't know, because I know for a fact creatures can spawn here. The other thing is, maybe we should just do a quick reload. Just see if that brings the creatures back. They're not here at the moment. And it's morning. So a quick reload. Maybe every time I teleport, I need to reload at the location as well. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Good old science. Scientific deduction. Whatever it is, it feels like the mechanic's slightly broken. Like if, if it is that it's just you need to be at a rare location, then... Spawn rate is just too low. But it doesn't fit in your natural gameplay loop. It's still not here. Like this is what I can't account for is why sometimes the creatures are here and sometimes they're not. And what makes that so? Because if we could find a way to make them always appear. Wait, what if it's because I've got a base here? Does bases stop creatures from spawning? Oh no. I don't know actually. That might be a thing. Maybe I've just doomed my experiment because I've built a base. But we did have creatures here to start off with, so that can't be so, can it? Oh no, now I'm worried. What if my human interaction with the planet has caused this to be a impossibility? I think all we can do is try still. Right, anyway, enough of the cave experiment for now, but I need to keep that in mind. That might actually be a thing. We need to see if creatures ever spawn here. At least I know for a fact that creatures did spawn here. <laughs> I think we're going to go to a space station and carry on with our journey. I wonder if there's anything else we want to go explore. Actually, is there anything I need to sell? Got some stuff. Let me just open all of this. Sell what we need to sell. Actually, let's turn that into. Oh, carbon, make some more carbon. Let's sell this. Hard frame. Vortex cubes. This thing. I think we'll just sell the pugnum. Viking effigy. Everything else I basically want. I seem to have more gold than I should have. Any metal platings? Why do I have so much gold? Let's get rid of oh, not that. What am I doing? Oh, I think we got gold from the freighter, didn't we? How much do I want to sell? I want to sell about 300. That will do. And let's just get rid of this little trickle here. We want to buy a load of metal platings. We seem to use those quite a lot, actually. Might just can buy all of those. Those in the high capacity for now. Silver can go in high capacity. Dihydrogen jelly. Tritium on the starship. This can go in high capacity. This can go in high capacity. There we go. Did we get any upgrades? We didn't. I feel like I shouldn't be carrying all of this stuff on me, to be honest, but we do. Got 
too many metal platings now. Let me just make oh I'll get rid of that little bit of ferrite dust. We'll use them up. Alright, let's go. Oh ships here. A class that I can buy? C class. No. Any A class I think we'll buy and try and scrap it instantly to get storage augments for my ship. Wait, why didn't I go to this planet? Worm ridden, that's why we didn't go. It otherwise looks quite good. And there's the cave experiment. Let's go to a new system, I think. Let's copy. Still no Diplo. I guess we haven't really been exploring on a new place yet. Ooh. We do that. See if we can find something. I think for now, I'll try and find cave creatures, but if we struggle... Ooh, that's a nice green. Is that my favourite green? Are you I'm going there wait but I should probably go to the space station first we're going to that green lush planet that's one of the deep dark greens that's kind of beautiful usually let me just check the multi tool out we don't need to get a suit slot anymore so what else do we do actually in these places I need to top anything, sodium nitrite. This I could probably turn into carbon. Do that. Again, if I see any A-class cheap ships, we'll buy them. As long as I remember. S-class? I wonder if I should be checking A-class multi-tools. Maybe I will. A-class multi-tools. That's a big commitment though. Landing on every planet means zoology on every planet. Maybe not. Maybe a couple of planets. We'll see. Chromatic metal ionized cobalt. I feel like I need some of those. Do I? We've got that. Dennis, we got enough. Nope. Oh, upgrades. We can check some upgrades. I still need to go get a load of Exocraft upgrades. Oh, hyperdrive. Like that. I could reload and get more of them, but I kind of like just naturally exploring and finding what we find. But ultimately, I want to get X class modules anyway. I'm not in a rush. There's no S classes here. Do I need any S class of these? Possibly movement. Life support we probably could take. I don't need the thermal protection. I don't need the toxic. Let me take a life support. I, I, I'm i pretty sure we've got some bad life support modules. We've got all these S classes, which are pretty pants. 50% to tanks. 47, but like this is like way worse. Let's get rid of this one. I got the hyperdrive. Gives me a nice boost. Do I have all my hyperdrives in here? Emerald, cadmium, indium. Yeah, I've done all of these. We don't have it any got these two. We're kind of missing on a lot of this stuff. I actually feel like I need to move move this across here, move this hyperdrive. That's blue, isn't it? So these are all connected. I'm not really optimizing yet, but until we get all the upgrades, I'm not too fussed. The other thing I was going to do is maybe change my jetpack purple to match my um, bubble trail blue, green, red antimatter 
match my um, ship. C class. A class. See, that's one I could buy. What about this one? Also, A class. Let me buy and scrap this. Let's see if we get some storage augments. Wait, was I supposed to sell my ship? Maybe I exchange it in that, then I get that as my default ship. I can actually buy the other one as well whilst we're here, can't I? Is it this one? No. That's my one. Ah, the other one's blown away already. Never mind. I can just scrap this and hopefully get some storage augments. We can sell these modules and get some nanites at the very least. We have all of these. And did I get any augments? No, I didn't get any augments. Are they in my cargo? Ah, oh, that's a bit unlucky. I, don't, I think most of the time you do get something. This time I didn't. It's still worth to do it though, I think. Let me just get rid of this bits and bobs we picked up. Anything else? All of this. And that's everything. That is a bit unfortunate. We didn't actually get... Wait, what did I do? Yeah, it switched to my wrong ship. That's too expensive, so I wouldn't do that. What if I should just scrap this? Well, eventually, plan is to get a full white collection, but I'm not 100% sure if I really want to do that. I don't actually know what I want yet. Right, anyway, this is my ship. There's no other ships here. Let's go to that interesting looking planet. Dark Green Lush. Wait, what is this? Desolate. This is the one that's enchanted me. Tropical planet. Dark green. Not nor. Wait, what? Hostile ships within range. Okay. Where are you? Give me my reward. I'll take you out. Well, that was quick. Got a load of nanites then as well. An easy one, and we get standing. We're getting standing fairly easily these days. Does that automatically unlock missions? Still didn't get this installed. Some high tier clusters. It's funny that it didn't say that it was installed then. Object of interest? No, nope, it's gone. Looks like we got a blue sky, which is even better. Dark, vibrant green. What will the secondary colour be? Green on green is my favourite. There's a building. Oh my god, look at these trees. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is amazing. Oh my god, I love it. Look at this. Oh my god. Weather Balmy, is that perfect? Might have perfect weather. Oh, please let there be a diplo on this place. This is so beautiful. We've only been in this galaxy a short period of time, but god, I've been on some absolutely stunning planets. I do like, oh look, we got a little Gekling, the beak, Vara, scanning mineral, that, hello buddy, what a beautiful little planet you've got, wait, what is this, ships flying by, hey buddy, give him something to eat, got fur on as well, 
I actually just got on top of him. I didn't quite mean that. Get a picture of this guy in his beautiful planet. Goodness, we've found some gorgeous planets lately. We've even got those planets up above us that look kind of cool. More of them here. Oh, what's this? Kind of an earwig creature. B of seven. There's not even that many creatures. Ground, ground. Two undergrounds, of course there is. We love underground creatures, of course we do. Joy of our lives. I'm not op optimist. Oh look, there's the other one. He's got such a different face. Looks really geckish. These are a little bit sporadic. What, you're new? Running out of chances for a diplo. What's your building over there? Oh, look, there's salvage containers as well. Might go pick some up. I also could check for the crash ship, actually. Do that. This is like approaching legendary planet aesthetic. Look at this grass, green and purple. Perfectly balanced. Love it. I heard you like purple flora. Can we get better light somehow? What a beautiful planet. Purple and green matches so well, and the flora is very balanced. They all look very color coordinated. And let's just quickly check if there's a crash ship nearby. I really like this grass. Very picturesque. If I calculate this, I have, my gut feeling is saying 49. Oh, oh. Let me just work it out. It's usually in a decreasing number, isn't it? So this is 9 less than that. This 8 less. This will be seven less, so we need six less, so it's actually 50. Freighter crash site. Ooh, don't really want freighter crash site. Oh, not the door. I think I just saw a cave. There are two cave creatures. Oh, look, there's one of them. Are you going to be the rare one? Be the rare one. Be the rare one. Not the rare one. I presume it is. It's the uncommon one. It's nice to find him right outside, though. Not even much of a cave. Kind of interesting that sometimes you get them just outside like that. This is a gorgeous planet. You do with slightly more density of the trees. I just don't know if that's a thing. This as well. It's got like triple tree colour. Dark purple, lighter purple, yellow. Beautiful. Go get the salvage container. Not that useful for me to be honest. It's just a little bit of money, but I don't have that much money. I spent a lot of money on hip slots. Now they're beyond my price range. Ooh, look, take this. Leave me alone. Let's so collect this patch of oxygen here. Nothing 
other than the underground creature, what else are we missing? In the common ground. I'm surprised we've not seen that yet. Not seeing it anywhere. Diplo, maybe? There's an outside chance. I find this planet very peaceful actually. It's so picturesque. I don't want a base on it, but I can't just keep putting bases down on the planets that I love. Am I trying to save up? I thought I was a living ship then. Kind of nice that you got three ships of different colours. Just in colour for the hauler. Where's my... There it is. Let's dig down to this. Ooh. Is this a legendary one? This might be a legendary one. You get this. Oh, it's a rare one. Sparking Thruster. They've actually changed what these things look like these days. I get salvaged glass from the sky. Uh, he's not even shooting. I mean, I paralyzed him then, but he wasn't shooting before. I did get salvaged glass. That's actually a vortex loop, so we can go find a cave there. Just looking if there's any salvage container. Oh, but I went to go here first. Hmm. Buried in the mountain here. And get to it somehow. A cave here. Explore. Really. Not even room for cave creatures in here, is there? No, there's no good. Just go back out. In the night time. We still got a ground creature and a cave creature. I don't want to go to the light side somewhere. Like, oh, it's so gorgeous. I want to see it in the day. Get my ship, and we'll go to the light side. What is this? That's where I just was, wasn't it? Is it where I just was? Isn't that cave different? No, oh, that's the cave we were at. Buildings here. Right, let me go to the light side. Enjoy the planet in its... I think if... I, I'm... Likely not going to put a base down, even though it is a stunningly beautish ball. But maybe we can give it a legendary aesthetic affix. Put it in the Discord. As a really beautiful planet. Take a few more pictures, perhaps. I've taken a couple. Let's see if I can find a building. Oh, it just looks so nice, doesn't it? Glorious planet. Give yeah, it that music as it climaxes. I 
I love the balance of the purples and the yellows of the trees and the different purples like triple color trees that all kind of fit nicely together aesthetically with matching flora as well I don't see any buildings I need to scan for an actual building. Colossal Archive. Not the kind of building I really want, to be honest. Oh, look, there's a. I suppose we could look for some ships whilst we're here. Have a quick peek at them. Possibly there's a cave on the side. We're under attack instantly. Are you kidding? Deal with the attack. Uh, who's a baddie? Too many goodies and too many baddies. Actually difficult to tell, isn't it? You're a baddie. You're red. There's three of them here. Oh, good. Let's see the guy. Lock on. Take him out. Interesting that all these ships just land, despite a fight going on above. Sell these relics now, I guess. This. This. Pugnum. Effigies. Get relics. I actually got a suspicious packet to open. A salvage glass to open. What get from that? That's stacked up with something that I don't know what. These B classes. I'd probably buy an S class to scrap, but other than that, no. Now it's dark again. Ugh, oh, need to get back to the light side. Planet needs light, all its beauty to be shown. If I go to the planetary archive, I almost feel like the planetary archive is not helping me that much. Like, I need a cave. I don't often have caves. Have a quick look. What's the chances we get a pirate attack straight away again? Wait, is that a cave? This is a cave. Have a look. See a wide open cave next to this little building here. A creature one time there it is there's something at least I presume that's the cave creature there we go so interestingly I still haven't done the zoology but it's actually a ground creature we've not found that doesn't happen very often let me try to find it I can just enjoy the planet for what it is 
This is going to get a legendary aesthetic for me. I love this planet. It's so beautifully color balanced. The purples, the yellows, the greens. Gorgeous planet. Even the flora in the grass is just, it all matches the aesthetic. Uh, oak. Wait, are you the creature? You're not the creature. Oak. My cloaking's not doing brilliantly. The problem with the cloak is you also need to hide somewhere. Like it's not enough just to cloak. You now, if I get down this ridge. Always go attack them, I guess. There we go. Right, where is this missing creature? It's unusual that you can't find a ground creature. Could it be a diplo? I'd love it to be a diplo on this beautiful planet and we could come visit it. My first Diplo is going to be a very special Diplo on this playthrough anyway, just because it will be the first. Well, actually, if it is a Diplo, it's rare, like, I can't find the damn thing. In some ways I don't mind though, like, I like exploring planets like this that look so beautiful. Oh. Building. Don't know red dots there. Where's that building gone? Wait, is it you? Ah, oh, it's you. Not the dip player. What are you? One of these creatures with weird faces. Well, zoology complete. Let's get my nanites. I'm going to give this place a legendary. Who's the system's going to get a legendary? I wonder if that means. Wait, maybe we should make it a thing. If there's a legendary discovery, we have to fully explore the system. Oh my god, that will take us forever though. We do that. That would make it much more difficult for me to put a legendary down. Also means I'd have to go back and sort these systems out that we didn't really explore. Can we do that? I could try. In which case I probably shouldn't put the legendary title until I could do it for this planet. Legendary aesthetic. Lovely. There we go. Maybe we make a start on saying if we find a legendary, fully explore the system in honor of this legendary planet. Then I can name the, the system at the end. Just in case we find some other discoveries. What if we find a dip play, for example? Let's get my ship. The only problem is we'll be in this system forever now because we'll have to do the zoology on every planet. But maybe that is my way to reward the game by giving me such a beautiful planet. Particularly if we're not going to put bases here. I wonder if that means I should find a uh, place where we can check multi-tools out. I could check the multi-tools in the space station even though they're C-class because like in some ways it doesn't matter if I find a C-class alien I can always upgrade it. 
Right, let's go to this planet first. Do I check? This is only a petrified planet. Do I check the multi-tool? Well, that's a bit too much. That would just take me too long, and it is a C-class, so... Let's not do that. Although, we're in a legendary system. Does that mean I'm obliged to do that? Decisions, decisions. I never know. It does give you extra motivation. It means I'd have to go back to that planet and do it there as well. This petrified planet won't take very long to do at least. Kind of nice when there's a planet like this when you're trying to do all the planets in the system because this will be a, a quickie. Need to find a rare creature quickly. Get it scanned. There's actually an object in front of me. Do I take those? At the moment, I don't really have anywhere to store it. I guess we take it. It's right in front of us. Hey, Beeblebum. How are you doing, buddy? How is life treating you? I, I noticed, but I didn't get to follow you. Do some speed runs. Did you manage to break the record? Whatever the record is. I've got my new Permadeath series I'm doing at the moment. I've just found a stunning planet. Whilst you're here, I might take you back. Wait, where's the creature? Is this the creature? Why is it not moving? How bizarre. I've got a creature that's stuck. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He's just frozen. Buried in the ground. Poor guy. Until I gave him food. <laughs> right, let me just do that. Get my nanites. I leave the ship. There we go. This is my new starship I found. Nice white solarine ship with purple cells. Very beautiful. Whilst you're here, let me just take you to this beautiful ship. Wait, let me just get rid of these pirates. I normally fight them, but let's just get rid of them. Check out this planet. This is like really beautiful. Might as well get this. Wait, what is this? Oh, navigation marker. Never mind. Not yet, you had some bad RNG, some weird bugs. You got a good plan, but you just need a nice run. Yeah, it's once you start getting down to like silly quick times, it becomes a lot about RNG, doesn't it? I don't know, I've not really felt the urge to join you guys in speed running. I I I like to play too chilled. If I was focusing on speed. Yeah, I don't know. Oh look, we got a landing pad. Right, check out this planet. It's a beautiful, beautiful planet. Not quite loading in, but the flora and the trees and the colours. Just look at this grass here. And then there's different kinds of purple trees. Light purple, dark purple, yellow trees. It's a gorgeous place. I don't know if you like this kind of colours. I do. I find it nice and balanced. Beautiful planet. Actually, let's just take another picture. Look at this guy here. I always find it slightly difficult taking pictures because you either want good lighting on your character or you get good lighting in the trees. You can't really get both. Yeah. Now, given that I've come back here, I might just do a quick reload and we'll check the multi-tools in the system. Yeah, it's a beautiful green, isn't it? Beautiful green with beautiful flora, trees. Let's check the multi-tool here. 
Actually, if this is an E-class outpost, we could use this as our testing place. It's B-class. Maybe that's good enough. And let me just do a reload and we'll see what that changes to. Maybe we can come back here and... I've given this planet like a legendary. I make it up for this playthrough. I'm giving some legendary affixes for all discoveries. So for this planet, I've given it for the aesthetic. It's beautiful. You love the trees. Hope to one day see them add large trees. Yeah, that's what you get in some of the mods. And I, I just don't understand why they don't do some of the stuff the mods have done. Because I... I mean, I guess it's because the systems can't cope with it, but even when I had my crappy laptop, which was not very good really at all, I still had stunning results with mega floras, mega trees, and it just looks so good. Did I reload or not? I don't think we reloaded. Did we reload? What I do for some shots is first light up my own character with the sun, then keep the camera angle and move the sun to the back of the trees. Then most the shots together on Photoshop. <laughs> That's a lot of work. But yeah, I understand what you mean. Wait, this is the new one. Unfortunately, this is just a B-class outpost, but... I could come back here. I've kind of just come up with an off-the-cuff rule for this playthrough, and I don't know if I want it or not. Because currently, one of the rules I'm doing is that every planet we land on, I do the zoology. And now I just made the rule that every time we find a legendary something or other, I've got to go to every planet in the system. But that means we're... <laughs> going to have to do zoology on every single planet. And given that I'm doing that, it might be nice just to check the multi-tools as well. But... We've not really found a A-class multi-tool cabinet yet. I'm not so fixated on the multi-tool, to be honest. I think if the space station was an A-class, we'd do it. I think now we're going to have our work cut out for us just to try and do zoologies. Mainly because of underground creatures. It's always the underground creatures that slow me down. It just takes so long relative to all the other creatures. Yeah. Right, this looks like a frost planet. Which is kind of interesting because I don't land on these planets. Unless I'm forced to do so by some funny rules that I've made up. So I guess at least it gives me the opportunity to occasionally land on them. Right. Bargain for the relic. Uranium or unit? Didn't matter. Did I get a better relic? I haven't seen this one. Have they changed this one? I kind of want my uranium. Uranium units. What did it give me? Parcel of wriggly fingers. Did I make a profit? <laughs> I made a tiny, tiny... No, did I make a profit? Didn't I pay 800,000? I made a loss. No. Right, this has got activated copper, so it's going to be a stormy place. Raising Tawan. Kind of a funny name. I still haven't managed to find a dip player. I've done like, how many zoologies have we done now? I've done 27 zoologies, still no dip player. It will happen eventually, I'm sure. No greater or lesser mushroom beetles either, but that's more difficult. Wait, 491? 491, that's a huge amount. Let's go get him. 
switch over to my trusty cyclotron. Where are you, buddy? He's actually out of range. Boom. Got a battery. Got some money. Right, let's go check out this planet. Obliged to check out this planet because of my legendary discovery. I'm going to stop here because there's caves, just in case there's a cave treater creature. Deep Freeze Extreme Planet. There's some creatures. Extreme Hazard. Oh, another one. Nice quick few creatures at least. Ground, ground, ground. Rare ground. Oh my god, look at all these ground creatures. There's an eight ground creature planet. And a flyer. Two flyers. No undergrounds. I actually like these kind of planets when there's lots of ground creatures. And we've got some salvage containers. I mean, the more ground creatures, the more chances of a Diplo. Given that Diplos are ground creatures. Grab some nanites. Grab this as well. I'm going to head towards this salvage container, I guess. Oh, you're new. Something over there as well. That's going to be a big creature. If it's far away, like 280 U away, usually means it's like 5 meter creature odd. <gasps> oh my god. Is that an 8 meter creature? That's huge. 7.6 meters. Ooh. We found our first megafauna. I kind of want to find the other sex because this could be a greater or mushroom, lesser mushroom beetle. These gender exotic behavior passive notes tiny brain. <laughs> oh, the poor thing's got a tiny brain. It's huge. Let's go ride it. Wow, I'm sitting in the worst place ever. <laughs> He's put like a screen on the front. Look how big it is though, towering over the trees. Can you turn around and take me to this salvage container, please? I want to find the other sex before we leave this planet, because if this was a mega greater mushroom beetle, for example, that would be a stunning, dis stunning, well that would be a legendary discovery. Saying. A double legendary system, oh my god, could it be possible? Megafauna are really quite rare these days. You don't find huge ones that often. It's not quite 8 meters though. I like it. 7.7. .7. Almost. Can you sprint? This is as fast as he goes. I see it's fairly quick. Oh my god, look at him go. Boom. <laughs> I'm getting nauseous traveling on this thing. Go down the hill. Thank you very much. So we're going to have to find the other sex of that one. Whilst I'm here, let me just grab this thing. Oh, it's not a very good one, I don't think. Is it better to use the bolt caster? Oh, it's actually pretty good. I think the bolt cast is actually quicker than the mining beam for these. Take that. Ooh, we got some birds. 
something over there. Hello, buddy. Hmm. I need to keep my eye out for the big boy creature. How are we doing? Seven of ten. Rare ground, rare ground, and a flyer. Two grounds and a flyer. Let's see a flyer. It's going to be hard to find this rare creature, I think. The big boy creature. Hmm. Any of you new? There's a new one like a cow of some sort. Still no Diplo. A lot of the creatures are fairly similar, aren't they? They're kind of nothing creatures. Apart from that big boy creature. I wonder how often he spawns. You know what I would like them to add, which would be kind of a nice thing? Once you've discovered the creature, what if you had a little tracking thing here? Where you could click it and track the creature and it would give you some area where the creature could be found. That would be a kind of nice little touch. If I'm trying to find the same creature again, I've got the ability to back it down. I always felt they could add tech and abilities to the game as people level up their experience with that particular thing. So, I don't know, let's just say do 100 zoologies and you get rewarded with some multi-tool upgrade that allows you to track creatures of some sort or something. Just as an example. I mean, you could make a whole progression system wish they would do stuff like that. I feel like they could enhance some gameplay with those kind of things. Also, the achievement system could be really reworked. There's so many achievements you could do in this game that you could work towards slowly over time. Have some, some kind of reward, even if it's a simple thing, like a cape. I don't know, find a hundred whales get a cape with a whale on the back that you could rock. How cool would that be? Storming. Really storming. What is that? Floating crystal. I don't really need that. Oh, there's storm crystals. I didn't even realise. Actually, does every activated planet have storm crystals? I don't think so. actually get the our data's here as well. Let's grab some storm crystals. I'm sure I needed the storm crystals for something. I can't actually remember what. Oh was it on the exocraft? I think my exocraft needed some upgrade. Quite dark when it's storming, yeah. Oh my god, I fell in a hole. Some achievements with a reward linked to it would be nice. I think it would also add more reason to do certain things. Exactly. And when you think about it, what they've got now is really, really basic. Like, this is a relatively new playthrough, and I've already maxed out some of these things, and it it's not 
the numbers are not particularly big. I mean, you already get this to 10 when you get 10 zoologies. Like, 10 zoologies, that's nothing over a playthrough. Maybe it is for some people, but it, like... What's the other thing that always feels... Even like something like million views. I, I've got 39 million. When we can get billions of unit, you already max this out as a milestone. It feels like they could add so much more depth to it. And add customizable rewards for those people that go for something very elite or difficult. I, I don't know, like for builders, you could have like some achievement when you build a base in the in the atmosphere like you guys do or something or build a base using however many pieces I don't actually know how you'd incentivize base building it's not my niche but exploration there's so much you could do oh look there's another creature what is it that's oh, a deer damn it why are you not scanning It's going to be real annoying if I finish this zoology and then we still didn't find that big creature again to see the other sex. So I feel almost obliged when it's such a big creature, we should see it. Because if it's one of the rare, rare variants, you want to know about it. Wow, such big drops. Icy pits. Can I just... Uh, what's it called? No, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Did not mean to do that. Oh god, never mind. I meant to just disappear. I was pressing the wrong button. I want to cloak. That's what I was trying to do. Run away. When is it going to instantly detect me? There we go. New. Mm -hmm. not new. Is it a bird or is it a ground creature we're missing? Ah, it's the flyer. Uncommon, always active. Oh, oh, there it is. Zoology complete. Now, what do I do about this rare mega creature? Oh, it's annoying. Let me get my nanites at least. But I think the idea of having some super niche tech that would help out in some aspect for people who'd like doing certain play styles that would be really difficult to get unless you're like really dedicated to do it would be a really nice little perk. And even if they're like aesthetic rewards or I've always thought the idea of like a tracking device or something for an explorer would be very cool. Particularly for these cave creatures and things like that. That would be such a nice way to reward dedicated explorers. Maybe traders, people who trade a lot get bonus units or something with some upgrade that they get I don't know maybe people who shoot loads of pirates could get rewarded with a special ship are you kidding me wait can I I don't feel this invisible thing works when I'm against pirates can I summon my ship when I'm being attacked can. Right. You guys shooting me when I'm just walking around on the planet. Not having any of that, mister. Hey, Ben Hawkins, how you doing? I found a legendary planet in this system with a beautiful aesthetic, and now I'm committed to doing the zoology on every planet. What am I doing? Why can I not hit you? Die. You the only one? 
Right, what do I do then? I, I find it slightly... We found a 7.7 .7 meter big crab creature. And I would love to see the other sex. To make sure it's not a greater or lesser mushroom beetle. But it seems really rare. Like we've only seen it once. I'll have a quick look for it. Yeah, they can get rid of target sweep and give it to explorers to track. I know, I, I think that mechanic would be really nice for finding a cave creature, for example. Or even give us special bait that we can craft. Maybe super rare bait that's difficult to get. Maybe make it for people who've done like lots of zoologies or something. Maybe you could have a different currency for completing zoologies. Something like Quicksilver, but something else. That explorers can trade in, where we can buy bait to track creatures. Maybe it doesn't take you to the exact creature, but it gives you a, a radius of where the creature can be found. Particularly cave creatures. Oh, look, a frigate. If I go get this salvage thing... I must feel I should go actually to the light side because we saw that creature in daylight, didn't we? It's a huge creature. I mean, we can't miss it except it's storming like hell. Let me go to the light side. Why can I not summon my ship? What's going on? I seem to have my... Wait, what? Oh no, I didn't charge the bloody launch thrusters. Don't you hate it when you do that? I didn't I... Did I build the tech that recharges it? How does that work? Launch system recharger. Photovoltaic. It needs to be light. No. Ugh. Oh, the shame. I've got to do the walk of shame back to my ship. Perhaps I should go to... Let's go to the other planets first, and then maybe we'll come back at the end looking for this big boy creature again. Still got quite a few planets to do. Almost like an item that makes the same call to attract the creatures, yeah. But I think it needs to be something that's not easy to get. Something that only dedicated explorers could work towards getting. I just feel it would be nice to have like some niche specialities that people with lots of experience get that little extra perk and then other people are incentivized to work towards it. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like just having freely having every tech makes things a bit too... Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Right, where are we going? We need another planet to go to. Have I been to this one? I've done this one. I've done that one. I've done the one we were just on. Let's go to this one over here. Actually, let's go to the far away one. What are you, actually? I don't have another ship to call in. I do, but... It's not built up. No, I, I could have called another ship. It, my ship was fairly close, so I just walked back to it. The Walk of Shame. I should remember to keep this thing charged up, to be honest. I still haven't tried this thing out yet. Does anybody know if the Sentinels come after you? How do you get rid of them? Like, do you just have to attack them? Then doesn't it just... It used to just escalate and escalate and escalate until you came to, like... Until it killed you. <laughs> Which is not something I want to experiment with in permadeath. And we're on pirates. Where are you? Again. Oh 
boys. They've come up against a solar mine ship that's got a few upgrades in now. How many pirates are there? Am I fighting against five pirates? That was a bit unfair. Shoots, he scores. That was kind of a bit unfair. Five of them against me. They don't have a chance. Oh, where's the planet I was actually going to? Is it this one? I know this planet. I just got hit by asteroid. I've been to that one. Oh, I hate it when I get disorientated. Is this the one? This is the one, isn't it? That's the one. You look like a hex planet. Are you a hex planet? You're a hex planet. At least this will be quick. Quickly get the zoology done. Salvage glass. Will we get an upgrade? Is it any good? 1% 3, no, that's not good enough. Right, let's quickly get the zoology done here. I wish they would do more to these planets and give them more variety as well. But really there's no point to land on these planets. Other than a quick cheeky zoology I guess. Got you. That was quick. Alright, so how are we doing? We got a moon and we got the other planet. Let's go find this moon. And the only question is, where is the moon? It's actually difficult to see. Not there. It's going to have to be next to one of these ones, isn't it? It's difficult to know which planet it's attached to. I can't actually see it. And we got more pirates to deal with. I used to pay them off. I, I find it's actually useful to kill them at the moment with some of the rewards, rewards we're getting. Next. Got a load of nanites then. Where was I going? I need to find the moon. I'm trying to see on the HUD. I don't get it. I can't see the moon. I think we'll have to go the other side of this. Somehow the moon's really hiding. Right, it's behind this planet on the other side. It's kind of interesting that you couldn't see it on the HUD. Let's hope it's a good moon. Am 
my goodness, we're attacked again. Oh no. Where's that moon gone? My god, this moon is like being so elusive. Oh, look at that. It's a purple lush. Ooh, nice one. Apt moon. Extreme sentinels. Pink moon. Pink lush. Oh no, it's got a pink sky as well. Not quite so good. Oh, it's got a filter on it. Has it got a filter on it? Oh, it's got nice trees. Oh, it's... Oh my god, actually, it's kind of nice. It's a bubble lush moon. <gasps> oh, we got another nice planet. Aggressive Sentinels. Do we fight them and turn them off? I almost feel like we could do. Still farming upgrades and stuff. Right, whatever. Let's just go for a bit of a battle. Uh, I've not found the best way to do this yet to make it quick. I need to focus on the triangle ones so that we can stop them from spawning more. Stop hiding behind the shields, damn it. Pick out all the little diddly ones first of all, I think. Oh my god, I can't hit it. Any more for any more? We got a blob. Do zoology whilst we're fighting. Hello, buddies. Oh my god, I cannot hit <laughs> What is wrong with me? Why can I not hit this? I'm hitting you. There we go. It's wasted all my... Difficult to aim up with it. Any more triangles? I'm going to take out all the little dudes first. Right, now I can focus on the damage dealers. Probably be making sure I'm picking up all of these things. Oh, there's another triangle. Come here, you. like this planet. I'm going to have to concentrate on its beauty once I've dealt with these guys though. Right, level 3. Have a few of these things. I feel like I didn't get all the barrels yet though. Elite. Where are you? Eagle. Take them out one by one. And I'm going to reward myself with a load of gravitino balls, I think. Get a nice little salvage on this planet as we do the zoology. Ooh, proto-roller. Who's going to repair you, buddy? Wait, who was that? Was that you? I like these trees here on this planet. Beautiful tall trees on this bubble lush. 
Right. Wait, why are they searching? Oh, there you are. Oh, I've run out of my grenades. Right, level four. Two more levels to go. God, it takes a while, doesn't it, to fight them all. Oh, I can scan this guy as well. Come you. Too quick. Central of water. Oh, there's two triangle guys. Oh my god, stay still. I hope we get some upgrades. All this hard work. Oh, come on. Hello, buddy. Let me get rid of this guy first before he calls more of them. I can't hit a thing. I'm starting to take a bit of damage. I don't seem to have very much in the way of barrels around. Have I really not got barrels? There's a big bird. Big beautiful birds. Do I need to be a bit... Who can I kill? There's a barrel there. Let me head towards the barrel. Look. Give me a bit of reprieve. There we go. Aha! Right, switch back to the grenades. Who do we need to kill first? Who's the priority target? I don't feel I still need to kill these bloody things. God, they're getting stronger now. I can just paralyze them. I'm actually running out of the inst unstable things to charge my stun grenades. Oh no, inventory full. This takes so long actually. And we're still not on level 5 yet. To make some room. I make room. Pug them. Put this in the way. Oh god, I've got I've actually got no room on my suit. Eat in the pug them. Right. Last round. This takes so long these days. I guess you should do it in multiplayer. Then you could like all have fun slaughtering everything. I'm actually running out of stun grenades though. these ones again. There we go. It feels like they're like they're never ending. Are you summoning them? This bike uh, bastard here keeps summoning them all without We haven't actually seen the walker yet though, have we? Oh my god, die. There he is. I 
actually. Oh my god, there's more of them. Just like too many of them. I don't actually know who the priority target is. I probably should take the big one on. Taking too much damage at the moment. Uh, <laughs> have I bitten too much that I can chew? I'm actually taking way too much damage. Hmm. Let me just charge up this thing. Oh god. We don't have stuff to do. Right, you're going down next. I really need to get, kill the triangle ones, that's the problem. They stop summoning them. Right, who's next? And these repair ones. Ah! <laughs> oh, this battle's intense. I'm not reading chat, by the way. <laughs> I hope you guys realise that this is my life is on the line here. Is there any more triangle ones? I can't work out if there's someone summoning them still. There seems to be so many. Are we ready to take on the big boy? Here we go. Sorry, buddy. What else do I need to kill? Have I killed all these shields? I think we're doing it now. Good thing is now I can stun lock him. I think something else is actually shooting me still there. Still more of them, are you kidding? How is it not the end yet? Right, what else do I need to kill? <laughs> I hope we get a royal multi-tool after all of this. We're out of slots again. We're still not dead. Are we done? Oh, Sentinel's disabled. Oh my goodness me, that took forever. Let's collect up everything. We got a Sentinel nest. We got a calm planet. And we've got a load of stuff that I can't even carry. And we did a milestone. Oh my god. Oh, it's 12 cells. <laughs> Fighting on an extreme planet. Right, I need to make some room. Make some nanites. Do have room for the carbon, even? Can I even put these nanites anywhere? Oh my god, I've got no room. Actually, I can just make more nanites. More nanites. We need to go find a shop to offload some of this stuff in. Pugnum? And I wish they didn't give you the Pugnum. It's kind of... It barely gives you anything, and it just fills your suit up. Even the nanites are not even... Like all of that just for 50 nanites. Right, 
how many savage glasses did we get? Is it just 15? I only got 15. All of that battle, and only got 15. It doesn't feel that many, does it? A bit annoying. Let's get rid of this. Right, should we open them? I suppose they're stacked up at the moment. You can open them later on once we're at a shop or something. Oh, a scanner module. Upgrade? Oh. Right, finally we can think about zoology and collecting stuff on this planet. Well, I suppose I should just double check. I've still got barrels that I've not picked up. Some over here. So I've got this thing as well. See what? Gone invisible. Now we can collect up all of these. These are actually worth quite a lot of money now, and I can collect them for free. And the blobs. Unfortunately, it's a blob creature planet, which isn't quite so exciting. Gravity nibbles everywhere. I wish these purple barrels gave you a bit more. This hard frame doesn't seem to be worth very much. And you don't get any salvaged glass. And these green barrels are more valuable than the purple ones. I don't get that. She got barrels everywhere. Barrels galore. I've just let, left them scattered about. Maybe I should pay more attention when I'm killing stuff and pick up the barrels straight away. I'm a little bit lazy. We're going to fill up on gravitino balls and not be able to carry them. Oh, birds. I've already got 7 out of 10 creatures and we've not even looked. Oh, but there's more barrel. How many savage glass are we up to now? We went from 15 to 22. Not bad, not bad. I've actually got no room. It's a bit depressing. Maybe I can get rid of. Not really. Ugh. Do you reckon I've got all the barrels yet? Let's have a quick in the sky. Look at this frigate. Have I scanned that bird yet? Is this a good way to look for barrels? Oh, I saw a barrel in the hole. Actually, can't you just do this? Yeah, combat supplies. That's what we need to do. Presume that was another one. No. Combat supplies. That's a better way to do it, isn't it? Any more combat supplies? Nope. Oh, there's a creature there. Right, I think it's time to go check the sentinel pillar out. Oh wait, combat supplies. Oh, and another creature. <laughs> I'm doing this zoology very easily whilst I'm not even trying to do it. I think that's all the combat supplies. I can't see any more. Right, so where did I leave my ship? Over there. Let's go check out the Royal Multi Tool if we have one or not. That's going to change everything again if I find a Royal Multi Tool. I'll have to go to all the planets again. Let's see a nice planet. I kind of want to see the day side a bit more. I was too involved in the battle to really 
Wait, what is that? That's my save beacon. I was too involved in the battle to really appreciate the beauty of the planet, and it actually kind of looks nice. Hey, what? Go with this guy. Why are you so far away? sentinels just reactivated because I left the planet oh no I suppose I can straight away deactivate them again but that kind of sucks doesn't it I flew to the, left the planet in order to get to this thing maybe they're all back again I actually went too far So finding this so difficult. Right, will this be my first royal multi tool? Are the sentinels still here? They don't look to be here actually. I'm not actually sure. If you reload, they come back. I thought if you left the planet, they come back. Maybe you need to leave a bit longer. It's saying inventory full. I do have a full inventory. 10, 20, 25, 26. 26 salvage glass. Right, moment of truth. Royal multi tool? No. It's an A-class though. Right, never mind. I kind of want to go to the light side and try and enjoy this planet a bit. It actually looks really nice with the planet behind it. How many creatures have we got left? Only one creature left. Rare ground always active. Reloading and leaving the system. Ah, why did I think leaving the planet was a no no? Right, got one rare creature to find. Actually, I might fly around and just try and find a shop because we've got so much stuff I can't. I, what's going on now? Why am I seeing the stars? What's happening? Oh no, do I have to reload? What bug is this? I'm seeing space through the planet. And I'm seeing my freighter. What bug is this? I'm walking on the stars. That's doing my head in. I'm going to have to reload. If I reload here, Will I be able to turn them off straight away? I guess we're going to find out. How bizarre. Look at it. I'm seeing all this. I'm seeing spit. Oh, look. Also got this. Right, that's doing my head in. That's making me actually. Let me. I'm going to reload. I'm hoping that I can instantly turn them off again otherwise it will suck I just did all that battle to have a nice peaceful planet for nothing we did get a load of salvage glass so perhaps we'll get some upgrades who knows what is that have we fixed that problem we got sentinels back I turn them off 
Where is this thing? Please let me turn them off. Get down. Thank God. It's kind of cool that they've added this shutdown mechanic. I really like that, particularly for planets that are beautiful and otherwise just you get annoyed by the sentinels. You can just turn them off. Right, so we've got one last creature to find. You like this planet? Look, we got a rainbow. Bit of a shame about the creatures. Blobs. If you have a planet with aggressive sentinels, you build a base near it just to disable them all the time. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. What do we know about this creature? I'm surprised that we're not actually finding it. Bare ground always active. Always active. It's not always active. Oh, and you can keep collecting these, I guess. Although I, I can't, I'm full. I need to find a shop. I need to find the last creature. So much goodies on this planet, and I can't pick them up. Not very good, is it? Wait, I could offload. Where's my... Wait, have I ever built the Colossus? Wait, what am I doing? Build the Colossus. Can I build that? I've unlocked it, haven't I? <gasps> I can build it for the first time. We're offloading to the Colossus. Oh, look at all this glorious storage space. Right, what are we offloading? Gravity nobles. Oh my god, what if we make it a thing that I fill up my Colossus with gravity nobles and then sell it once it's all full? That didn't really help. <laughs> I could put all the savvy glass in there for now and deal with it later. Maybe I don't want to deal with this until we actually open or get a new multi-tool. Hmm. I just put all my junk in the Colossus for now. All the junk. Deal with it later. And I don't have to deal with it. Is that a plan? Storm crystals. Probably want those. Anything else I can get rid of? We're slowly going to be using up these. And then I won't have to keep so many. Maybe i just get rid of these three. We've already got another stack of them. Ooh, dihydrogen. And the Colossus as well. Can I make these? What do you need to make one of those? Oh, it uses that metal plating. Hey ho. I think that, that'll do for now, isn't it? All of this stuff I'll just keep on me for now. I'm wondering if I should get a hauler and then put all of this into the hauler and then have all of this just for collecting stuff. That might be a better way to do it instead of me carrying all this stuff all the time. Right, I've got some room now. Wait, what's this? Get rid of that. Thank you, Hauler. Or Colossus, rather. What do you look like? Gravity enables. Wait, Indium? Oh, I just opened that mineral, didn't I? That's funny that it automatically went here. Right, last creature. Oh no, I need to break down this thing. So now I can collect... Wait, you're not the creature, are you? I can collect gravity nobles to my heart's content. Space galore. I actually get kind of rich just collecting these things like there. 
200 units, 200,000 units per stack at the moment. And I'm just on this planet, there's loads of them. Look at them, like whole clusters of them. I'm doing particularly well at finding this last creature there. Those will get rich as we look around. Oh, a nice little moon. Even don't mind the pink sky so much, I think it somehow fits here. Still not seeing last creature. Hmm. Well, I guess we keep collecting gravity no rules for now. There we go. What are you? Oh, it's a smoky creature. It's going to be difficult to scan. Can I scan it? Come on up. Jump. Jump out. Got him. I got him. Another zoology complete. 1,500 nanites. 33,000 nanites just from doing zoology. Bad, is it? And I keep spending them. I'm buying module after module. Right, so, one, two, three, four, five done, one to do. Not been that bad, actually. All because of this legendary planet. Right, let's go to the last planet, then. Wait, before I go, let's just put all of these in the Colossus. Maybe we'll make it a thing. I'll fill up my Colossus with gravity nobles, and then... Set it all in one go, see how rich we get. I don't like that when I destroy the bosses, it doesn't stack up with all my other stuff. Why does it split it up? Right, last planet. Still no dip play. Still no dip play, just saying. Right, which one was it? It was quite close to here, wasn't it? I actually lost where the planet is. It's the moon. It's be the other side of this, isn't it? That's the one. Right. Diplo planet? Could it be? Planet incest. It's not really incest. <laughs> incest. Desolate planet. We've not been on many desolate planets actually. Water planet. Did I go to a big ocean in case there's a rare fish? No. It might not be. Right, what do we have? A bland desert desert planet. Why look for a building to land at? Does it matter? <laughs> Evil. Make me laugh with your laughter. Right. I think we're just going to land. So, last zoology in this system. That looks nice. And it is est. And it for Beeble.
Right, what do we know about the zoology? Twelve creatures. Oof. Ground, 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 ground. Five grounds, two flyers. A rare underwater only in the north. One underground. Ooh, a whole batch of creatures. Where are they? Some deer, antelope. They look kind of pretty, actually. Very colourful. Look at this. Purple and green great antelopes. Better than average. He's very colourful. Gonna take me anywhere? So a cow. Can I scan when I saw... Uh, it doesn't let me scan when I'm on. They should let you scan when you're riding creatures. Oh. Richard Roller. Oh no, I'm getting the plant. Oh, they're so hard to catch. Come here, you. Oh God. Uh, missed it. Trees are in the way. Oh. Are these proto rollers? Where are you? Got him. Got him. I locked on. Thank goodness. Now there's something else here. This guy. We're actually making bank just from scanning creatures. Like, all my money is from just scanning. And it's dark. What are we missing? One more air ground. Fish. Right, so let's go try and find the rare fish, which is in the north. Where did I leave my ship? Where am I on the planet at the moment? We're actually in the north. I need to find a big ocean close to here. Go straight up and then go to the closest big ocean. Leave me alone. I'm going to pay them off so I can not have to deal with them. A million units, you bastards. That was expensive. Hopefully this is still north here. Oh, come on. I'm going to go to an ocean here. It won't let me pulse. Hopefully this still counts as a northern ocean. On the last ocean I was in, I found a ma majestic whale, really beautiful whale, blue and green, all kinds of feather feathers and spikes. Very good whale. I hope I find something good here as well. Mine in the north. We are plum north. This is as north as it gets. And do I need any more of this stuff? I feel like I still need this stuff, but I don't actually know what for. Let's collect it whilst we're here. Ooh, a crab. Hello, buddy. Now, I have seen it, the rare, there are sometimes rare crabs. The little skull of fish of some sort. Very dark, I can't see a thing. Eels? These aren't rare eels though, these are just bog standard eels. God, I, I don't like this ocean at all. Colour is dreadful. Submerged relics on the other hand. That's basically 50 nanites, isn't it? Edelcore. 
or about 80,000 units or so. As well collect that. Right, what else? More submerged relics if I want them, but there's submerged relics everywhere. Seen a rare fish though. Oh no, there it is. 200 you away. <gasps> Eat what? Oh, it's a whale. Oh my god, it's a narwhal. It's a narwhal. I think it's a narwhal. I love narwhals. Legendary creature. Narwhals are legendary creatures in my book. We got a narwhal. My first narwhal in the Brumerai galaxy. Look at it. And it's colourful. Only the ocean was a bit better. We got a red, spiky, mega narwhal. Let me give it coordinates on here. Wait, I didn't put the coordinates on. How do I put the coordinates on? There we go, shift. Majestic narwhal, look at it. I love these things. Well, that's going to be another legendary. We've got a double legendary system. This is why I make myself do all the exploring in every planet. Because you never know what might be here. He's spiking a creature with his great horn. Look at him go. Ah, oh, Beautiful thing. Now, I do try sometimes to get him to come and attack me, but I failed a lot lately. I don't know if they've changed the mechanics. I wonder if I could just change my multi-tool to something like very pathetic. The problem is it still does damage. Come here, buddy. Come and eat me. He's not interested in me at all, is he? We got a narwhal. I love it. Narwhals are super rare. There we go. There we go. Did I get it? Did I get it? Well, we got a smile. Got the wrong bloody multi tool on now. Not quite the picture I wanted, but we'll take it anyway. I actually don't like it in the day. I wish it was a blue ocean. Can't have everything, I guess. Picture like this. Nope. I need to get him like biting me. Again? Are you gonna come at me again? Nope. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him dancing. <laughs> it's not quite there. Oh, you can have so much fun with these kind of things. Come on, buddy. Tap me again. You know you want to. He's not going to do it, is he? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, no, I missed it. I'm trying to catch him just at the last second as he opens his jaw right next to me. Damn it. Missed it again. Come on. Come again. I'm slightly worried I'm going to actually kill him now. Come on. Hey, buddy, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's not quite. Uh. Come on, boy. I'm surprised I've not killed him by accident by now, because I must have hit him so many times. Come on. I need him to do the attack an animation 
and charge at me and then get him to snap his jaws and then we're gonna get it oh here we go here we go he's not opening his mouth wide, wide enough I didn't quite do it I need to be a bit closer I'll try it in a minute let's just see if we get a picture first of all I mean it's not a bad picture is it I'm gonna quickly pause and unpause no, that's the wrong one. Oh, I missed it. He snapped his jaws on me. Uh, he's got my cape. <laughs> he's got my cape in his mouth. That's kind of cool. He's got my cape in his mouth. How do I show you that and show the whale? I'll take a picture like this, but it doesn't quite look like the whale, does it? When a narwhal has your cape in its mouth. These things only happen in no man's sky. God, aggressive alien whales here. I'm being impaled by a narwhal. What do I do for a double legendary system? Ugh. I like. I really like this. That he's got my cape in his mouth, and he's gone. My sad face. I'm kneeling on a narwhal. Actually, that looks kind of cool as well. I've got so many pictures again. Ah. Oh. This is my second ocean on this galaxy in a couple of streams where we've had a real cool time. Beautiful. Is he coming again? He's coming again. He's coming again. Is he coming again? Come on, buddy. Let me get the picture, the picture, the picture. He's not coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's stuck. He's stuck. Are you stuck? I need to help you. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Coming in. Nope. He's got quite some attitude about him, hasn't he? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got the, I got the picture. This is the one. But what lighting do we want? I mean, it looks kind of good at night time, actually. A great narwhal devours his prey. I'd like to be a bit closer to him, if I was brutally honest. In his mouth. Sea creature roars. <laughs> oh, I like having fun with these things. Anybody else spend hours getting pictures like this underwater? It's, it's, it's fun, I tell you. These are the moments I live for in this game. And I don't know that we're getting the best angle, but... Some of these are going to go on the coordinates exchange. Nah, well. That's a good picture with all the fish in the background. I haven't worked out if it's better at night time though. It's just... Brown water is just not very nice, is it? But... Right, we got the picture I wanted. Very good. Right, how do we get out of here? Have I got everything yet? We're still missing two creatures. Rare ground and an underground. Uh, my ship. Over there. Well, that was a lot of fun. I've got so many cool pictures now. I'll have to have a look at them, see which one's best. And we get a second legendary in this system. I need to work out how we're going to mark systems that have got a double legendary. I guess we just put double legendary.
Pretty cool. There was a solar ship just went overhead. Reflection of the Miura. I ain't even get up here. I don't have much jetpack left. Oh no, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna run out. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I made it. It's close. Right. Quick save. There's a ground and an underground. Find a cave. How cool was that? Ah. Oh, I hope Caroline gets to see. I think she'll like that now. Well, she'll appreciate that one. Let's go have a look. Ground underground. But ideally a building with a cave, I guess. I'm certainly glad I've come to this planet now. See what would have happened if I didn't wait, is that a crash ship? Did I just fly over a crash ship? I did. But it's not a crash ship with an NPC there. Damn it. Have they upped what you get as a reward? This must be the worst thing they added to the game. Putting NPCs next to crash ships. Like, why would they do that? All this is, is a big disappointment. But, let me see. We'll fix it. I don't know if they've bumped the rewards up. Yeah, the ship. And it damaged me. What are you going to give me for that? Oh no, that was the wrong one. You what? Are you farewell? I got just standing and a recharge shield. That was just pathetic. Ooh, red dot. And it's miles away. That's going to be a big creature. <gasps> Mega Diplo. What is it? Not quite a dip play. Oh, I've got the wrong multi tool. Getting my money. Wait, which is my actual one? This one. I should be able to decide either help or steal the ship. I know. Very frustrating, isn't it? Like. I, that's something I, I really dislike because it's I don't think anybody likes that uh, it frust it, it's, it's a frustration frustration shouldn't be part of the game in that way not that kind of frustration I mean there's one frustration of not being able to find a cave creature but a frustration of them adding a random NPC and then you can't get a crash ship or some organic rocks is that chlorine Mordite. Oh my god, so much Mordite. Since when does it give this much Mordite? That's ridiculous amounts of Mordite. Is there actually anything useful you can do with Mordite? That's a huge amount of Mordite. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's worth, like, diddly squat. They've buffed that. That didn't used to give you so much. How bizarre. I, why am I even picking this up? Like, there's nothing you can even do with it. I mean, eventually, I could, you could make acid. <laughs> I don't even have room for this stuff. Can I unlock acid? <laughs> it only needs 25. What do you do with Mordite that's actually useful? Is there anything that it's useful for? You turn it into a fecum. Cook. What can you cook with Mordite? Can cook with it. What does it do in... Does it go into yeast or something? Actually, I could put it in the storage. What about that? Meat flakes. 
eight minutes. It takes eight minutes to process this one stack of Mordite. Are you kidding me? Eight minutes? Phew. Ooh, way. Right, I guess all the Mordite's going in here. Eight minutes. It might be good to make nanites when refined with hexite, is it? You can refine it with hexite. I did not know that. You can buy hexite these days from this the outlaw systems. Ooh, we'll try that if that's a thing. Let's get rid of this for now. Right, as usual, I'm left with a cave creature. But I also need to go because it's my dinner time. So we're going to have to find this creature next time I log on. I would like to find a cave just to finish up out there. I leave my ship. Let me go find a cave and then it'll either be there or at least next time we can load up and be at the cave. I can't believe it though. We found a narwhal on this planet. And we found a planet with a legendary aesthetic. It's not a bad session. Like, these are very, very, very rare finds. And last session we found... We also found a legendary whale. And we found a legendary beetle. Wait. I think that's a cave. And there was something else we found? found another planet and I've already forgotten what it was. Oh, we found that beautiful, beautiful planet. Yeah. Put them in the Discord. All of my cool discoveries are going in my Discord, by the way. If anybody wants to come and visit them, feel free. Right, let me have a quick look at the cave. And the lights. Grabbing the berry tech as well. I swear there was a cave here, wasn't there? There it is. Right, I'm going to save over here. We'll have a quick peek in just in case we get lucky. Because you never know. Red dot. Red dot one time. Big enough cave. There it is! We got it! Straight away! Ah! Oh, the joys! The joys! Twelve creatures. Zoology complete. And that is a nice way to finish the stream. And I get to label this planet now. Because of our beautiful legendary... Oh, we need to add it to our... We said every time we find a legendary creature, we change our ship name. So... Campel now is my new ship name. So let's do that now. Campel now. Get rid of Renarum, which was the last whale. Campel now. We've got a new ship name for our legendary whale find. Nar whale. Look at it. Isn't she beaut? Now this is bugged. If I leave the planet and go somewhere else, this turns into a different fish for some reason. Very annoying. Right. We get to put a legendary. Legendary. Nah, well. Nah, well. Like that, isn't it? And now, the first time ever, I get to label this thing. I get to label this. Just copy. So I haven't, I haven't done this before, but I guess we're going to put double legendary. Double legendary. Do I need to write? I can't remember what I did last time. 
No, I just I just put legendaries. We didn't write what it was. Okay, double legendary. How about that? And I'm gonna need to make it a mission that I need to go back to this system. Because I didn't make the rule that we're gonna do all the zoologies. So I'm gonna have to go back and do these planets. And go back and do all of these planets. So we stay consistent. Not bad, eh? Oh, Pidge, I'm just finishing. But Pidge, check this out. Oh, Pidge, you're going to have to look back at the stream. We found two legendaries in this system today. First of all, we found this planet here, which I'll let you look back on the stream. And it's just a gorgeous aesthetic. Really nice. Uh, but, but right now, we just found a legendary creature, which was a narwhal. We got some beautiful pictures. Very nice. But I need to finish up because my wife's cooked lunch. I need to go eat. Might be back later on today at some point, but we'll see. Uh, and I managed to do the zoology on every single planet here in this double legendary system. Still no dip blows. It will happen eventually. Let's just save the game. But for now, I'll have to see you later. I hope you guys all enjoy your exploring as much as I do, because today was a, an exploration session. Beautiful finds. I'll put some of those pictures onto the Discord so people can check it out. Have a good one, everyone.